In today's video, I'm going to showcase one of the biggest updates to my assets for Dungeon Draft. It's a series of packs called Biomes. Now, Biomes are in other words, environments or locations. It's a series that makes it possible to change the setting of your maps with a click of a button. From desert landscapes to desolate plains with lava rivers running through them, or your basic season variations for a forest scene. This is great for creating a random encounter maps pretty quickly. A project I've actually been working on with Zootropy to really fine tune the way these packs work. One I'll post a link to in the description for those of you who'd like to download the maps you see here for free or try out the Dungeon Draft save files of these maps. Although all of these maps have been touched up in Photoshop afterwards, most of the heavy lifting has been done in Dungeon Draft to achieve this result. What's nice about it is that with this in mind, our community would be able to share any maps they create with these packs. Let's say someone creates a cool castle you like, but it's set in a desert setting. You can simply ask them for the save file and load another pack to change set setting in an instant. Now, to show you how it works, Let's drop into Dungeon Draft and check out our custom assets here on top. You'll notice there's currently no biomes pack, so let's go to our custom folder and upload the biomes desert pack for this example. We'll restart Dungeon Draft to make sure there's no loading issues and then we'll select one of the biome packs and create a new map. I've already made one, so let's check that one out. Now. Before I move forward, it's important to note that if you drop all the packs called biomes in there, it'll just show one in your asset selection menu. So make sure to select the one you're wanting to use for building your map. My map here is a simple desert map with a little river running through. One I've been using to test out a lot of these assets and make sure they're all compatible. Each asset in this pack has been hand selected from the biome asset pack. Something I've made easier by creating a custom tag in each section of the Dungeon Draft tool. For the objects, it's a capitalized biome tag on our left side here. Each object you use in your maps from this selection will be converted into a similar object when changing your biome pack. For the path section of our assets, we'll be able to find the paths with the same biome prefix in their name, all in capital letters or a season prefix, as that was the original name of these asset packs. Once I move beyond just winter, fall and summer designs, it seemed to be logical to change the name. Dropping any of these marked paths into your map will make it possible for you to switch them out by changing the asset pack you're using. Last but not least, we'll move on to terrains. And for this one it's pretty easy, just select the textures in the biomes tag and you're good to go. Now, once we've finished our map, all we need to do is save and then head on out to our Dungeon Draft folder where we were before and remove the Biome Desert Acer pack in the custom asset folder and replace it with another one of our choice instead. For our example, let's go with a Snow Winter pack. Copy and paste it into our custom asset folder now, when we open Dungeon Draft, we'll select our most recent map. And once the file has loaded, you'll notice all the objects have been switched out to change the setting from our de desert map to a winter map. The conversion isn't perfect, of course, so you'll need to move and possibly rotate some objects here and there. But it takes a considerable amount of time out of the whole process and makes it easy to reuse any Dungeon Draft save files that use these assets. Some particular settings do have unique assets dedicated to them, like the lava in our lava packs, or the snow and ice textures in our winter packs here. They're super easy to use and you can simply place them on top of all the other layers for the snow texture, or place them underneath your other paths to create a nice little ice river here. Now that we finished up our map, I'll move into Photoshop and do a quick showcase of, the, of my test maps for these packs in particular. You'll see that there's a lot of custom shadows designs I do that can be reused as well. 
For some designs, it takes a little bit more effort, like using a summer forest shadow layer for a lava shadow layer. But even here, we can brush out some of the old tree shadows pretty easily and have a base file to move forward with. Especially something like painting in a river can be used across all variants. And I only had to paint it once to be used in our four unique locations. I don't want to go into too much detail on the shadow layers. I've got other videos for that. But if you'd like to try it yourself, I'll leave a PSD with my test map cases so you can check out how I layered everything and what adjustment filters I used to make them pop. You'll be able to find all those uh, test files and the PSDs on my Patreon, so check, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. The goal of this project is to create a bunch more of these biome variants or environment or location variants. If you have any other cool ideas for other locations, be sure to let me know in the comments. For now, thanks for watching and see you next time.